everyone and welcome back. I am Jazzy and I'm here with another video. I've been planning this video since the creation of my channel and I know you guys have been waiting for something like this. And here it is! My room tour! Yay! Yeah! It took ages because I was adding to my room and finally I'm at a place where I'm not investing too much time or money for my room. And I have a lot of stuff, so be warned, I am not a minimalist. I've had this room since we moved into our house back in like 2006. To be honest, I don't have that great of a memory. I just recall it was right before the recession happened. Those were fun times. I shared this room with my sister growing up and we decided on that purple color. Circa the cursed year of 2012. I don't know, I guess we thought we were like edgy. I mean, we were goth tweens at the time who were into One Direction. I mean, we still are. The best song ever, we knew every line, no I can't. But yeah, the color was one of our biggest regrets. It already makes this dark room darker. Well, this room is at the back of the house, which means it also has dark corners that never see light. Anyway, moving on. I would like to remind you that this is an 80s inspired room. I have both modern and vintage items. I just don't want anyone coming up into the comments and being like, oh, you have a desktop computer. Or that TV isn't from the 80s, that's from the 2000s. Yeah, no. I know! By the way, I did want to mention that I recorded all of the footage on my phone instead of this camera that I'm using right now because it didn't pick up on the lighting that well. Like I said, it's a dark bathroom. It turned out really grainy. I really wish that I could do better with the quality, but I'm just, I'm using what I got. Anyways, I have to shut up. Let's get on to the video. To begin the tour, this is my bed. I have my throw pillow and my figment plush that I got for Christmas. I even put a little headband on him so it makes it look like he came back from Jazzercise and got really tired. <laughs> and of course, I didn't forget Perry the Platypus. I surfed into this pink floral comforter. I was so excited to see that it was from 1990. Under this is a different bedding pattern I thrifted. It came with the flat and fitted sheet as well as two pillowcases, but at the moment I'm only using one. And over here is my side table. And here's my top shelf that has like a lot of things on it. But this lamp is a lamp that my parents have used since I was a kid and I snatched it from them. <laughs> I have my 80s beauty books here my coin bowl, scrunchies, and my jewelry box that I thrifted last year and it is so cool. Next to it is my caboodle, my Raylo Funko Pop, and a ceramic teacup that I got at a yard sale. It has a cute little cat on it. And behind all of that recently is what I purchased, which is a Sears light up vanity mirror. Sadly, it came in really dirty and one of the lights was broken and the sticker just came right off, which was not mentioned in the listing. And let's say I got my refund. <laughs> the bottom shelf just has random stuff. What I do want to talk about is the mangas. If you're a fan of Sugar Sugar Rune or Marmalade Boy, we are friends now. <laughs> they both defined my childhood. Uh, what? Gum? <laughs> <laughs> now, on to my drawer. As you can see, this is where I stack all of my stuff on. On this side, I have my Slurpee 80s phone cup, which was a promotional thing 7-Eleven and Slurpee did last summer. An awesome DIY denim book from 1989. It has some great pictures inside. and these pink hair clips that are either from the late 70s or early 80s. And this book is called Showing Your Colors. It's from 1985 and it helps you with color theory and interpreting it into your wardrobe. And here are my vintage glasses.
This is an early 80s knitting book and admittedly I bought the cover just because it had a cute cat on it and the inside had really neat pictures. I don't even know how to knit. Don't look at me. This guy looks like he would have helped me study for a science class I was failing, and after high school he would have graduated from a pristine college, become an astrobiologist, have a tattoo artist husband, and three cats. And that guy looks like a serial killer. And here are the straws that go along with those Slurpee cups. A Pepsi Perfect bottle that I got in 2015 for the Back to the Future 30th anniversary. And this little guy is the little click camera. That may or may not work, I haven't tried. Before we move on, I forgot to show you guys the wall against my bed. This, I love this. I thrifted this and knew it was 80s from the image alone and just got it for that. <laughs> Say hello to my closet door. This is where I keep all the coats and bags that I wear when I go out. That's my 90s Esprit mini backpack. My JCPenney 70s coat that looks similar to Clark Kent's jacket in Superman 2. Under is my members only jacket and my most favorite thing in the world, my 80s shoulder bag. What a stellar design, right? Over there in the dark corner is my small table. The top shelf has the Milton Bradley's 1988 Hearthrob board game, 80s Barbie radio, core telephone, and my Crosley record player. I know it's like one of the worst record players out there. However, it was a gift and I rarely use it anymore and hopefully in the future I can buy a proper record player. I played this game a couple times with my friends and it's so laughably bad in such a fun way. The new game from Milton Bradley where you get to pick from Gobs of gorgeous guys And try to decide who your friends will pick Here's the guy for you What a hump, check him out Yeah, but his sneaker size is bigger than his IQ So, oh, come on, looks aren't everything They're not <laughs> Heartthrob from Milton Bradley It's totally serious Love at first sight? Johnny's a hunk, Brad's athletic, and Greg has the cutest smile. Who's really that guy for you? On looks alone, pick your heartthrob from three photo cards, then guess which guys your friends will pick. If you're correct, you could win this dreamy dating game. Oh my god, yay. You could fall in love at first sight. But be careful, personality cards will reveal more about the guys. Some of what you learn makes them more appealing, but other things are a real turn off. You must decide if looks or personality are more important. Bet you didn't realize that Johnny cracks his knuckles and bites his fingernail. Could you tell that Brad still sleeps with the teddy bear? Bro, I sleep with Perry the platypus. It ain't that deep. And what about Greg? Did you know he eats bugs to gross out girls? Play heartthrob and find out what it takes to make a great date. I mean, to sum it up, this game is about picking three guys and finding out weird <laughs> shit a bit about them. Well, you know what? That's pretty realistic, so good on them for making the game. Ages. For all girls who like boys. Choose your boyfriend from 60 gorgeous guys. Oh, I'm gonna tell you right up. They're not all gorgeous. <laughs> like Dennis here. Well, maybe I'm too harsh on Dennis. He looks like the kind of guy who would protect my drink at a party and start hissing at any guy he tries to grab it, you know? I get it's the 80s, but one of the downsides of these games is that they're all white. The whitest of the white. Here we have the items. The name sheet and the scenarios for each round. The boys card. Let's see who we got. Oh, it's Ricky. Well, let's find out a weird thing about him. Okay, the board itself, and the rules. This is the Barbie radio system. It doesn't work because the batteries were still inside and in such terrible condition, but that didn't stop me from thrifting it. It's such a cute design too, it's from 1984. On the top, it says the AM and FM, volume and tuning. Now onto the hay! No! Don't bite that! I thrifted this about two years ago. 
It's an AT&T cord phone. Here you go, order some food for us, will ya? Took me a while to find the manufacturing year, but it was hidden in this little indent. September 14th, 1990. This is the bottom of the small table. This is where I keep all the vinyls that I don't have hanging on my walls, as well as my magazines. I ordered a Barbie photo album and it came in the day I recorded this. I've been taking disposable camera photos for a couple months now, and this is a perfect way to store all the memories. I had no idea at first where to put this, but now it's right over there. We're not done yet, that was just one side of my room. We still have the other side left. You're probably wondering what Kermit did to deserve this, and he knows what he did. You're probably wondering, Jazzy, why do you have these Michael Myers heads? Well, because they do this. This is my box TV and VCR player on top of this table that I thrifted a couple months back. These are my Funko Pops and behind them are my Alvin and Chipmunks and Tippets glass cups from 1985. A phone that I thrifted ages ago, and some of my favorite VHS's. Great thing about this table, by the way, is it has side doors. I keep all my other VHS's and DVD's in here. Quick detour, can we talk about this? You remember those iconic Star Trek moments, right? Like when Captain Kirk said, Zoot Voot Skidoo! Or who could forget when Spock was considered the Fonzie of the 23rd century, then proceeded to smack a player of the opposing football team while drinking tea and jumping over the opposing team while playing his Vulcan loot. Truly the highest form of art. This awesome banker's lamp is one of my most prized possessions. All thanks to my bestie. Love you, girl. Behind my monitor is my pictures and ticket stubs. This wall rack, I believe, was my sister's, but I am putting it to good use. Starting at the bottom here is my Sleeping Beauty merch, one of my favorite Disney movies. Princess Aurora is one of my favorite princesses, and I think she's super cool. You can fight me on that. And Prince Philip? Oh, Father, you're living in the past. This is the 14th century. I forgot what these little doodads are called, but look at it! It's so cool! Up top, we have my funky sunglasses. These pink ones I bought off of Depop, and they are from 1989. I think they're kids' ones, but that doesn't stop me. And some leftover hand sanitizer and a keychain of Tiffany Valentine. Here are the tapes I thrifted in a different video. And these are some horror-themed gifts I got from my friends. And up top is a shrine of my dead cat. Right next to it is my Star Trek frame, and I love it. Up top is another frame picture that you guys already seen in another video. I hung it up there, and sometimes I like to imagine that she's like my cool gay aunt who travels the states on her motorcycle or something. I had no idea where to add this part, but here are my shoes. And hanging off the bunk bed is a geometric towel and a nightgown I thrifted. That seems to be everything. You're probably wondering, hey, what about your closet? And of course, I didn't forget that. Alrighty, here it is. And it's gone. Uh, it's actually really messy in there. And that's why I'm not going to show it at all. I'm sorry. Officially, that's a wrap. I hope you had a fun time seeing what my room looked like and all the stuff that I had. And if you're new and enjoy 80s things, consider subscribing. That's what my whole channel is about. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day and remember to take care of yourselves. I'll see you all next time. Bye! Hector Taco Bell at warp speed and start collecting Star Trek 3 glasses. Beam home Spock. Cling on treachery. The secret of Valtropan. And fate of the Enterprise. Star Trek 3 glasses. Only at Taco Bell. It's
Purchase of a larger medium soft drink at regular price. 